Mark with Coder. I'd like to give you a demo of Coder. So let's start with giving an overview of what it is. Coder is a software development platform. It runs in your VM or your Kubernetes infrastructure, and it lets uh, software developers be more productive because we, we automate the uh, creation and the security of software development environments in your cloud infrastructure. So what you're looking at on the screen here is I'm logged into Coder. Any workspaces that I have created uh, show up in this list with their status on or off. Um, you'll notice these have various icons. Um, all these workspaces are based on a concept called a template, which is a Terraform file, which um, specifies how the compute will be set up. And as part of that template, you can choose various icons. So let me walk you through a sample flow. You'll see I have a workspace here called Node. It's based on a template called pod with code server. If I click on that template, as a software engineer coming in to create workspaces, you would just find the templates you have access to. You can read uh, a markdown file that your DevOps team or your team leader created that says what the workspace does. And then you could click create, create the workspace and uh, even can give it a name like node test and as part of the Terraform file, you can input the user to add certain values, like what is the Kubernetes cluster this is gonna, or the namespace this will run on. If they have any personal settings in a doc file repo, prompt them for that repo name, and then give them a choice of which image they would like to use, and then which repo they would want to clone, and CPU, memory, and disk. Um, in this case, I even want to give them a choice. So we're the makers of CodeServer, which is the VS Code IDE in a browser and you could give them choice to add certain versions or just grab the latest. So while this workspace is building, I'm gonna choose one that's already been built called Node. And if I go into it, <clears throat> the workspace is now running. This is a Kubernetes pod. Um, it shows you the CPU and the memory that's available. Um, as part of that template, I wanted to show VS Code in a browser. So that's this icon. If I open this on the left side of the screen, you'll see it open the VS Code IDE. And you'll see it cloned a repo called, called Go to React. I'll open a terminal session, and I want to do a um, test of the application server running. Um, I've cloned my DOF files repo because I like to use fish as my standard shell, and I'm going to start the application server, so I do yarn start. Um, this is going to start a node application, which has a React front end, and it runs on port 3000. So code server will actually detect that the port is open. You could also choose it over here on the port forward button on the right. You'll see we can sense that, and then it will show the application. This is a great feature for keeping devs in flow because they can test their application here. Um, the creators of the template can even specify access control. So a dev could push a branch, open a pull request, add this link, and their teammates can actually connect to the workspace and see that change. Uh, really cool feature in the product. Um, a different use case I want to point out, and then I'll pivot to some of the admin parts of the demo, is that you can do software development using Java. So you'll see I have a I have a workspace here called uh, Java Gateway. You, you're going to notice it only shows VS Code. The common use case is to use a JetBrains IDE. So we have a plugin built for JetBrains uh, JetBrains Gateway, which is a thick client application. So I'll drag over the JetBrains plugin that we wrote, you'll see all the workspaces you have access to, and then I'll bring over my local um, JetBrains client. So one of the benefits of using a, a local IDE is you can get all your keyboard shortcuts back. And then to pivot to some of the admin parts of the product, you'll see that uh, every action is stored in our database table. So we have the logs. Um, you can add the users either through the UI or through the API. We also support OpenID Connect to tie into your single, single sign-on system. Thank you for your time.